A while ago, somebody asked me what I like to do in my free time for fun. My mind was completely blank with anything that didn't make me sound completely insane. The only thing I could think of at the time was... Now, of course, I still love doing normal things. I like spending time with my close friends, having good conversations. I like walking my dog. I like reading, I like watching movies. But when it comes to me, by myself, I have this innate desire where I just want to do hard things, to embrace the suck. But it certainly hasn't always been this way. When I was younger, I had this complete aversion to doing anything difficult. I literally always just wanted to follow the path of least resistance, do the easiest thing possible. My entire life revolved around comfort and pleasure. All I ever wanted to do was watch TV and eat junk food and sit on the couch or on my bed. I literally used to go on vacation with my family and the first thing I would check at the hotel was whether they had a TV so I could just sit and watch TV the entire time instead of doing anything. I, I was petrified of doing anything that had any difficulty. I didn't want a job, I didn't want to start a business, I didn't want to work out or train or do any form of exercise. My dream future involved me living in a small apartment and just spending my time watching TV and playing video games all day while eating junk food. Just keeping constantly stimulated with external dopamine from content consumption. Thinking about this now, it literally makes my skin crawl. Cannot imagine a future more miserable than that. To the current version of myself, that sounds like literal hell. My main goal in life at the moment is to do things and pursue things that are difficult, that force me to grow and are challenges that are worthwhile. Even if I imagine a future where I've already succeeded and I've accomplished all my goals, I have plenty of money in the bank, I don't have to do anything, I would still continue to lift weights, run, do cold exposure, meditate, and make videos because I enjoy it. I enjoy a project that I can chase because stagnation is the equivalent to death. Even if I'm happy with where I am, if I'm not still continuing to try to grow, I might as well be in the ground. So what caused this massive change in character? It's difficult to pinpoint an exact moment, but I believe it started when I began doing push-ups and sit-ups in my bedroom to try to be more attractive to girls. That was my first voluntary exposure to doing hard things. From there, things started to roll and build on top of each other, which have improved my life. But like trying to move a giant boulder the progress started very gradually, very slowly. It was incredibly difficult, but as momentum is built, it has become easier and easier. The push-ups and sit-ups in my rooms turned to going on short runs, which turned to sprints, which turned to me going to the weight room and lifting weights, which turned to me meditating, working harder on my studies, actually trying to become a better person in every single avenue of my life. It taught me how to socialize. It taught me to start reading about self-development and trying to educate myself when previously I never wanted to learn anything. And that eventually led to mental work, which made me want to achieve big goals. All of this seems completely repulsive to the me from the past. I just wanted my life to be as easy as possible. I would have never chosen difficulty if that was an option. Now, there's something very strange about this. And if you have yet to go through the transition, it's probably quite difficult to understand. When I began, these things were like genuinely painful. Lifting weights hurt. Doing push-ups, doing sit-ups, running, it was uncomfortable. And like, there was a, a reason, there was an understanding why I shouldn't have done it. Like it felt like this is something I shouldn't be doing. The pain was genuine pain. As I've moved along, I've started to enjoy chosen suffering. I like the pain. I enjoy feeling the burn when lifting weights. I like doing suicide sprints and feeling my lungs burning and my heart pumping in my chest. I like pushing myself to my absolute boundaries and seeing how much I can grow. I like knowing myself. Of course, it's still difficult. I never want to sit down and write my videos. I never want to sit and record. I never want to actually edit. I never want to work out, get under that heavy squat bar. I never want to do the suicide sprints and feel that horrible burning in my lungs. I never want to get in a cold shower in the middle of winter. I never want to meditate. I never want to journal. But when I start doing it, it just makes sense and I can understand why I want to do it. I struggle to get out of it after that, but I enjoy the suffering. It's just that initial moment of getting past the momentum, which is difficult. You literally learn to enjoy the suffering and to actually chase it. 
even when bad things happen in my life that I have no control over, say a car breaking down, I have much more control. Whereas previously I would have gone into a nervous breakdown and started panicking and freaking out and not being able to do anything. I've now reached a point where I can actually handle things more logically and look at it with a more objective view and it isn't quite as painful as it previously would have been. Now, by no means am I implying that I'm perfect. I still have a long way to go, but this has been one of the biggest things that has improved my life, choosing suffering. Testosterone makes hard things feel good. Doing hard things increases testosterone. You literally build up the testosterone in your body by doing difficult things, which makes the difficult things enjoyable, and it's a positive cycle that you can continue to go on. If you never address that, it's never gonna start, and difficult things are always gonna be difficult. But the problem is life has become so easy that no one's ever forced to do difficult things anymore. It's easy to just sit on the couch, smoke weed, and watch TV, watch Netflix, play video games, scroll through TikTok, order foods on DoorDash, Uber Eats, whatever, and you never have to lift a finger. And because of this, people never get the momentum going to start voluntarily doing hard things. But their lives would become so much better if they chose to try do something difficult. People are so far from their actual potential because they refuse to actually ever try, because they never break out of their comfort zone. They never make any goals in the first place that they can try to attain. It's much easier to just sit on Reddit all day. You know what the true definition of hell is? It's when you die, you get to meet the person you could have been. We never get to become the people we would have been unless we try to do hard things. And this can be so easily overcome by just trying to do something you don't want to do every single day. Not only breaking out of your comfort zone, but expanding it so that more and more impossible things suddenly become possible. They seem like they're within reach and your goals can expand with that. Doing physically difficult things is a great starting point because it's very physically tangible. You can count, you can say, I'm gonna do 50 push-ups, or I'm gonna run a mile. But that might not be the area of your life that's lacking. You might say, suffer from social anxiety where you can barely go in public and interact with people at all. So that's doing hard things. It doesn't seem like a big challenge to everyone else and you might feel embarrassed about the fact that that's what you're struggling with, but your biggest challenge is still your biggest challenge. It doesn't matter what anyone else is doing. If the thought of speaking to people is the most horrifying thing in the world, then that's what you need to focus on. You can start by going into public and just trying to maintain eye contact with people for a few seconds. And of course, the first few times you try, you likely will fail, but that's okay. You're trying to expand that comfort zone until you can eventually succeed. And once you've succeeded, you can keep practicing that until you can eventually go up and say hi to someone and so on and so forth. I didn't even finish the script, so we're just gonna fucking go off the top here. Doing things that suck is the best way for you to grow as a person. If you continue to exist in your current state, you'll never become the best version of yourself. Sure, it doesn't seem like a great idea to hop into that freezing cold ice plunge or sit in that sauna for 25 minutes or go and work out or run or do anything or read those 20 pages or start writing that assignment. But doing hard things gets us to grow. It makes things easier. It makes our lives better. I've learned to enjoy doing hard things and there's still many things that I'm too afraid to do. And I hope that one day, if I continue on the path I'm on, I will be able to address those things and continue to grow. And I hope you do too. Thank you for watching.